Thank you for choosing the Nook Inc. Island Getaway Package. To help you get started, we have arranged a small activity for you to participate in. All you'll need is a sketchbook, a pencil, some paints and paintbrushes, or whatever mediums you would like to use. Now that you're ready, let's jump into it. I hope you'll follow along. Happy Animal Crossing Day, everyone. I don't know if anyone else is calling it that, but to me, March 20th is Animal Crossing Day because Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming out and I'm so excited to get my hands on the game. I also know that Doom is coming out today and I hope that all of you Doom players have a lot of fun with your video game and I hope it's enjoyable. I don't know anything about that game, but the memes were fun. Thank you for creating the memes internet. That was great and wholesome. Moving on, as stated in my little intro there, we're going to be creating an Animal Crossing inspired art piece. And in the anticipation for the game, I want to create myself as a villager using the character creation options that we've seen so far at PAX East and in the trailers, etc. So we're going to start all the way from designing and figuring out the Animal Crossing art style all the way to creating a full colored illustration. So let's get into it. So to start we're just going to try and fill this page with Animal Crossing themed stuff and trying to replicate the art style because I feel a little bit stiff today and so I just want to warm up a little bit with that before actually going into designing my character. Now it wouldn't be Animal Crossing if we didn't try and sketch the trees. I don't know why but like the trees are just such so iconic like like I wonder who initially designed these trees and like what their thought process was because they're adorable but we'll, we'll do a little we'll do a little apple tree how about that how do you even draw an apple Ooh. how do they make things so simple but so like realistic at the same time I can't even like draw a tree but we've got to we've got to try and also make this mine I don't have to necessarily look exactly like the Animal Crossing style I just want it like influenced by or inspired by, if if we can. Okay, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not entirely happy with how this is turning out. <laughs> does it does it look like an Animal Crossing tree? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move on from the tree. <laughs> I don't know why, but the pears freckles. <laughs> sure. Apples, oh my god, apples are the bane of my existence. Classic peach, which I think, is the peach emoji like this? Like is this the peach emoji? Did the people who design emojis steal this from Animal Crossing? Still going back to fix that apple. It looks like a tomato to me. <laughs> it looks like a tomato. And again, freckles on the orange. <laughs> It looks like a tomato to me. I don't know why. There is obviously more fruit, but that's that's what we're gonna stick with now. I will tell you a secret. I actually have already tried drawing um we're crossing person, but not me, just just a general one. But um it was terrifying. So we're gonna try it again. And I'm actually gonna try it with the character in the front cover of the game. I'm gonna try and draw a big, because I'm really bad at drawing big characters and uh and start off with the head and then like a big ear okay her head's already like not round <laughs> give me give me a second better is you know what it is there's too much on this side it's too much head on this side i'm gonna pull it we're gonna pull it in a bit I was like, yes, such a cute, easy art style to replicate. Let's let's make a freaking video about it, Hannah. And then, nope, actually proportions are really strange and confusing me a lot because I don't know how to do it. 2,000 years later. Okay, that's her head. <laughs> All right, she doesn't have a neck, so her arm is just coming out there. The arms are so skinny compared to the heads, it's so confusing. This is so creepy. <laughs> okay, so I turned my camera off for a little bit there because I was getting a little frustrated <laughs> with the sketch and really just needed to like focus on it and not have any distractions or feeling like I needed to talk a lot or whatever. 
So we're back and I've sketched out the girl from the cover. I don't know, it's all right. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna throw some paints on there because I wanna paint. That's, that's the goal of today, actually paint. So I'm gonna throw some paints on there and see if I like it and sort of to see if I can get the style happening better with the paints. Cause I think the issue I'm having is that there's no line art for me to work with. So we're gonna erase this as much as possible. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna paint. Let's move on to my character design. Now I'm gonna get up um, Animal Crossing New Horizons character creation and see if it comes up with the options. Yes, it does, amazing. I'm gonna sketch out a cute pose and then we're gonna go from there. And we'll use this, this page as my inspiration. This actually isn't a cute, isn't not a, it's not not cute. It is cute, basically what I'm trying to say. I just feel not confident in my work but we're gonna keep tracking along all right we're gonna make like a big big oh boy am i really gonna make it that big yep that's what we're doing i've got to i've got to get these proportions better what i figured out is the way to make it not creepy is your head almost the same size as your body and the reason I'm so creepy is because it's not. This that it needs to be two heads, two heads, and then I think the feet right really is just the addition at the end. Your head needs to be the same size as your body if you want to be creating Animal Crossing. And I keep stuffing it up, and then I'm like, this is creepy. I'll make my head a little bigger, so we can sort of fill the page a bit more. And then and then we got that measurement, and then we got all right. So. I need to make my body fit into there. How? I don't understand. All right, so this triangle body. Well, hold on, the body would end about there, and I got legs. Okay, and so this pose though, her leg just, kick, just kicking off to the side, and like your shoe coming off the ground. Okay, all right, cute. Um, now the head looks way too big. <laughs> You know what they remind me of? Rugrats. Does anyone else remember Rugrats? See, now it's <laughs> not the time. The body, because I removed it. Oh, God. Okay. Can you tell I'm getting slightly frustrated with this? Wait, their bodies are skinnier. <laughs> Oh my god, we're getting somewhere, friends. Okay, all right. Still, the head is actually terrifying me. The faces are actually trapeziums. Okay, is that what a trapezium is, or is it a rhombus? I don't, I don't know. Parallelogram? No, I know what that one is. Okay, all right. Okay, that's not okay. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be my template and we're gonna make it cuter by picking some cute options. It's like this 
sort of side part bang that goes like really tight there and then, and then it has another side part that way That's a better shape. Yay. I think I want these eyes. I think these ones will be really cute. options that I didn't see. Nope, we, I like mine the best. <laughs> then our nose, we have three options, the square, the triangle, or the round oval one. And I really, really like the oval one. I think it's very cute. And then we want to do a mouth. I don't know, should I do this one? Oh, and then I look like a cat. <laughs> it's not quite that turned up though, hold on. Let me try, okay. Oh, she cute, she cute everyone. She looks like a cat, I love it. And then I wanna add some blushies because always they come in like a pink or a tan and they come in like blended out or solid, but I, I will blend mine out the best of my ability with the paints. So yes, that is my face and hair choices and we'll get into the colors later and then in terms of outfits i guess like i'm just gonna go looking through animal crossing new horizons character that we've seen so far and sort of find something that i like i kind of just want to keep it really basic and kind of want to do like a tom nook shirt or something i really like like the the hawaiian shirts and stuff but i'm not going to be able to do that much detail in the painting okay i'm a sucker for like a floral shirt so i kind of want to do like a floral shirt and pants sort of vibe so that's the color i'm gonna do this instead i like had this like thought process in my brain to just press Control z then and i was like mm, not gonna work hannah why can i do that line properly ah oh, this is so funny and silly okay all right there we go, and then like props just runners. I kind of want a big hat. <laughs> I feel like that would be cute. This is, that is, that is Hannah. That is so Hannah. The pose that I picked, they were emoting. Oh yes, and then the same kind of flowers that I like that I put on here. I'm gonna like emote around my character. Okay, I was really disheartened there for a minute. I really thought I was actually going to have to like not make this video because of like how I hated. <laughs> that piece before and how I hated this terrifying thing on the other side of this page. <laughs> but but this is cute. I, I'm very happy that we, we jumped into this um, when we did because I was very not happy. Okay, so I took a break. I got myself some tea and we're going to tackle this painting. Don't put your paintbrush in the tea water. Don't put your paintbrush in the tea water.
Okay, we have come to the moment, everybody. We are gonna draw on the eyes. Oh boy. I'll try and clean up that line a little bit. Okay, and then the other one. <laughs> That's done. Now the pupil. Okay, I, I think I think we did it. I think she's done. Thank you for joining me on my little Animal Crossing journey today. We started with the basics, we went to the girl from the cover art, and then we designed myself in Animal Crossing. What I hope that I will look like, it actually turned out pretty cute. I'm very glad that I changed the t-shirt from pink to yellow because I think yellow is a lot more in my aesthetic than pink is and I like the flowers and the little grass detail. So anyway, thank you so much. I hope that you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. So I filmed this video over a week ago and it is now March 19, 2020 and I do not understand how much the world has changed in such a short period of time. Animal Crossing couldn't come any sooner because I really want to escape to my own private island right now. I hope that anyone in isolation and quarantine are able to still get their hands on the digital version of the game. I will be thinking of you, so please stay safe and look after one another.